today. AMD breaks a record, Nvidia changes their RTX 4000 specs, Intel's Arc is so bad that a partner quit, and AMD's entire Ryzen 7000 specs leak. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, a new record has been broken. This time, it was AMD's new Threadripper Pro 5995WX that trampled over previous scores. The new feat was done by overclocker TSAIK, who was able to get the CPU up to a very impressive 5.15 GHz. And using that, he got the highest score ever on Cinebench's R23. In fact, he beat it by quite a bit, reaching a very impressive 116,142, beating out the previous score by over 10,000 points. Now, it is of course important to note that he used liquid nitrogen, so don't expect to get anywhere near this if you were to purchase the 5995WX. Plus, this is obviously a workstation CPU. It's not cheap to say the least, and you really won't get any more performance than things like games. Really, you'd likely see less performance given the clocks are lower because it has so many cores. At the end of the day, it's still interesting to see records being broken. Next up, with inflation continuing to rise, gas prices still really high, things are simply getting way more expensive. But there's one thing you should never overpay for, and that's your VPN service, at least if you use this video sponsor, Alice VPN. The VPN that proves you don't have to pay a lot to get a premium service, because when you use my special link in the description, you can get Alice VPN for just a buck 83 a month for three years. And it's not just cheap. They not only protect your data and keep your Google searches private, but Atlas VPN can unblock some of your favorite shows on Netflix. Plus, they're fast enough to offer 4K streaming. Not only that, but for that same price, they protect unlimited devices, so your entire family can be protected. If you're still concerned, don't worry, because Atlas VPN offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So stop overpaying for your VPN service and visit my link in the description to get this incredible deal. Next up for today, Nvidia looks to be changing specs of their next-gen GPUs. And of course, this is something that's fairly common until the company can finalize everything. Either way, the story comes from Copite 7 Kimmy, and as you can see, he changed the specs of both the 4070 and 4080. What's interesting is that he upped the specs of the 4070 and downgraded the 4080. According to the leak, the 4070 now comes with 7,680 CUDA cores instead of 7,168 and 12 GB of 21 GB gigabits per second GDDR6X instead of 10. The 4080, on the other hand, comes with 9,728 CUDA cores instead of 10,240. The other specs here seem to be the same, but it's still a bit of a downgrade. All in all, it just proves that things can change in the background, and we won't know for sure about exact specs until closer to launch. Still, it's clear that Nvidia is hard at work with their RTX 4000 GPUs. Next up, Intel is quickly becoming sort of the black sheep of the industry. From the years-long delays with their 10 nanometer parts, to Apple moving over to ARM and designing their own chips just to get away from them. And of course, let's not forget the ever-increasing delays with their ARC GPUs. Well, it looks like things are even worse than we originally thought. In a new story from Igor's lab, who has definitely proven himself to be a very trustworthy leaker, it looks like one board partner has actually jumped ship. For starters, distributors and manufacturers are apparently not happy with Intel's art. According to the Post, unlike Nvidia and AMD, Intel refused to give price guarantees and that the costs for RMAs and returns were much higher than AMD and Nvidia. But Intel started out with a focus on system integrators and OEM customers, yet they're having a hard time finding launch partners, so they clearly messed up not focusing on the DIY market first. And here's where things get really interesting. According to this, at least one big board partner has stopped production of Intel's ARC cards, specifically, quote, due to quality concerns. Ouch, baby. Very ouch. Talk about some potentially big foreshadowing. For a GPU to be so bad that a board partner quit. flat quit, especially given the potential of Intel being a new player in the market. Unfortunately, Igor's lab isn't telling us exactly who they are, but he did share an image of an MSI-based PC. Maybe it's them, I'm not sure. Either way, Intel only has a few board partners for their ARC cards, so it's a big deal if one drops out. 
At the end of the day, this could be a massive blow to Intel's reputation, and it certainly shows us why the company has delayed their cards so many times. To top it all off, according to a report by TrendForce, Intel has delayed their 3 nanometer order from TSMC for their upcoming Meteor Lake iGPU. The delay would likely mean Intel couldn't release Meteor Lake until the end of 2023. Now, I will say that Intel has stated that Meteor Lake will be delivered by 2023, but the reports don't exactly say it wouldn't so it doesn't even sound like Intel's challenging it. At the end of the day, let's hope Intel can get things back on track, because at least for now, they seem to be having massive issues. And lastly for today, it looks like AMD's entire Ryzen 7000 CPU lineup has been leaked. But before I get to that, we have confirmation on the release date. If you remember in my last video, WCCF Tech leaked that the CPUs would be announced on August 29th with the press embargo on September 13th and the release on September 15th. Well, the release date at least seems to be correct, as MSI just confirmed that the release date of their X670 boards is in fact September 15th. Basically, the boards should be releasing right alongside Ryzen 7000, so that date seems to be right, and I say that to all also state that WCCF Tech has now leaked the full specs. Starting things off, they confirm that four CPUs will be launched, the Ryzen 7950X, 7900X, 7700X, and 7600X. When it comes to specs, the 7600X is a 6-core 12-thread CPU with a 4.7 GHz base clock and a 5.3 GHz boost. It also comes with 38 megabytes of total cache, and it has a much higher TDP of 105 watts. Next is the 7700X. 700X, which is an 8-core 16-thread CPU with a 4.5 GHz base clock and a 5.4 GHz boost. It has 40 megabytes of total cache with a 105 watt TDP. Next is the 7900X, which is a 12 core 24 thread CPU with a base clock of 4.7 gigahertz and a boost of 5.6, as well as a whopping 76 megabytes of cache and 170 watt TDP. Finally is the Ryzen 9 7950X, which is a 16 core 32 thread CPU with a base clock of 4.5 gigahertz and an unbelievable boost of 5.7. Remember, that's a stock boost clock. Talk about a massive jump in clock. Finally, it has a staggering 80 megabytes of L3 cache and a TDP of 170 watts. At the end of the day, AMD is clearly bringing the heat with their next-gen CPUs. Ultimately, I think it will really boil down to price as to how well they can compete with Intel. Intel will of course have more cores, but AMD should get a huge performance boost as well. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen Ryzen 7000 CPUs? Or are you just bummed about Intel's ARC GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to check out Atlas VPN in the description below. And as always, have a great day!